All right, so this time we're going to have a look at the Logic Powerful Reverb plugin called the Space Designer Reverb, which is quite different from what we've been working so far. Uh, there's uh, obviously other reverb plugins that don't take much CPU power and are good to be starting with, but the real thing in, uh, in Logic Pro is certainly this, uh, this plugin. So let's have a look. Now, Reverb Designer is a convolution reverb, we call, which is more complicated but quite powerful tool in uh, Logic 9. To make a long story short, it multiplies your input signal by the impulse response of some sort of acoustic space or reverb hardware, let's say a, a plate, for instance. Uh, the best way to get started, I'd recommend maybe is working with the already available presets. So let's load some samples to start with. In this case, we're going to start with a, a snare drum going into bus 2, which is Reverb Designer. So this is the groove. So under the preset, we're going to find something small in a plate of some sort. Uh, they give you roughly what the reverb time is in second, as you probably notice in the uh, upper left. Uh, that one is seven seconds, probably good for a, a short time plate. So let's have a listen. Without. If you want to, you can turn up a bit the reverb output, but the default mode is pretty good actually, so I don't think we need it to uh, in this case. If you want a little bit more, you just have to push the send button. Alright, so let's have a look at the parameters. This is the impulse response, this waveform here. What we have actually is an amplitude envelope on the impulse response. Uh, I'm gonna mute first the kit and the kick, just that we hear only the snare. I'll bring up that output just a little bit. Now if you want to, you can change the envelope. Let's say I want I want it to die quicker. I can take those two red dots and the envelope and change the nature of the reverb that way. Like so. And here it doesn't quite last as uh, the previous one. So I'll try to continue and try to tidy it up a little bit more. So I'm going to bypass it. Sounds pretty good. A substitute change, you would say, but it's clearly doing something. Um, I'll bring the rest of the kit in, like this, and I'll mute the reverb. So you can hear it's subtle, but there's a real acoustic space around it. I'll mute the reverb. So you can hear it, it's subtle, but there's a real acoustic space around it. That's the basic of working with Space Designer, It's to go ahead and find a good preset and then change the, the, the envelope like we just did. You can change also other parameters if you want to. Um, let's find a longer reverb, so we have a, a longer tail, so I'm gonna get it all, gonna mute the overheads and the kick, so we just have the, the snare, like, uh, like this. And 
I'm going to work with the envelope air, like for instance, shortening the length of the impulse response that we're going to use. And with the actual amplitude envelope of the impulse response, I can again shape the reverb response wherever I want. Notice when I make changes, um, it might be a good idea to check at the progress bar uh, and wait for it to finish. The progress bar is uh, there in the upper left. Now we're okay to go. So that's about it. That was the basics of working with Space Designer. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to uh, come and visit umusicandme.com. See you around.